can we do to simplify learning times tables and show relationships between numbers so that learners can see, say and write mathematics? Hello, I'm Christine from Maths Heroes. About sharing the three for free. So here I've got 28 and I'm going to share it between, I'm going to do units of seven and units of four. If I start off with a unit of seven, we can see that I'll get one, two, there's 14, then I will put on another seven, there's 21. And my last one will be up to 28. So that was four units of seven. Let's have a look at units of four. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And while in the straight line, that's that's easy to see how the units fit in, it's more efficient when the units are the same size to put them in a rectangle. Because now we can see that we get three for three. So here I've got four sevens are 28. I also get for free, how many sevens are there in 28? Four. If I flip my multiplicative thinking block over, I also know that now I've got seven fours are 28. And I also know that 28, how many fours is seven. So there you have it, three for free. Look forward to seeing you at the next video and thanks for watching.